one. And ready to go. Hey, how, how you doing everyone? Thank you so much for joining in. I have a great guest. Devin's here with us from Vita. And we're going to have Devin talk more about the product. I know some of you were very interested in Jim's uh, information a couple of days ago. But today we're going to dive even deeper because I think talking about the material at a deeper level will give everyone a very good understanding. Uh, but even though Jim did an amazing job, we're going to go a little bit more. And Devin, please let everyone know who you are, where you're from, and what do you do for Vita? Absolutely. First and foremost, Larry, the Young's Dental Team, uh, it's a pleasure to be on your channel here talking about our products. Uh, and thank you for everyone watching this video and rewatching it. So I am the territory sales manager for the 91 Freeway South. Uh, so basically from Torrance and Riverside, Palm Springs, all the way to the U.S. border. Started with Vita about a year ago when I learned about this Vita Soprani block uh, that's behind me. Quit my job because frankly, it's a game changer and it's so exciting. And that's why I'm here today. So thanks for having me. Yeah, you're, uh, thank you for coming in, man. Um, so, you know, we talked about the Soprani last time. We talked about Enamic last time. Uh, and then I had some couple of inquiries. They want to see, you know, some images and some studies on that. So I, I know you're going to show that in a second. Uh, so one question I want to ask is, we heard about the Smart Fire Furnace. Can you show our viewer what that furnace looked like to crystallize the serpentity, for example? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to share my screen here, and I got a YouTube video queued up here. Nice. All right, can you see the YouTube video with the oven? Perfect, yep. All right. So this is our Smart Fire Oven. It's a going to crystallize and stain and glaze, stain and glaze any of your CAD CAM materials. It can't sinter zirconia, but it can glaze zirconia. Mm. So, uh, what I really like about this furnace is that in Southern California, a lot of the CAD CAM offices are limited on space, right? So we don't have a ton of room for these large porcelain furnaces. We need to minimize these things. This smart fire oven, for its capacity is extremely small and powerful. So I really like the fact that it doesn't take up a lot of counter space. Also the control pad is separate from the furnace. So you can really get it to fit into your office or, or mount the screen on your wall. Uh, it's designed to be functioned just like an iPad or an iPhone. And all of the Vita programs for our materials are pre-programmed into the machine in addition to other competitive materials, uh, which in that regard kind of makes it unique. Uh, I'm gonna pause it right here because one thing that makes this furnace uh, better, in my opinion, than other furnaces that are available is this lift. It's a vertical lift. Some of the other furnaces out there are like a clan shell type design, uh, but we have far more control over the heat management of the material. Uh, so one thing I learned pretty quickly in training that Vita is that if the temperature fluctuates or changes drastically, it can affect the shade of the restoration and even the strength. So by having the vertical lift on this, we actually control that far more effectively. Also the diameter of the firing chamber, uh, chamber which you can see at the top, is significantly smaller. Uh, and what that does allows us to process glass ceramics like Vita Suprinity and IPS Emacs considerably faster than other furnaces out there. So I really like that. Uh, furnace is made in Germany, which makes it you know, extremely reliable. They are obsessed about precision. There's software in here which doesn't allow the temperature to fluctuate more than one degree. So we really are ensuring a high quality product. Oh. Phenomenal, one of the many awesome products that the Young's team offers. No, that's great, man. Thank, thank you for showing everyone that. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, definitely answer your question. Let's go ahead and unshare the screen. Can I uh, talk a little right. bit more about this? All right. Yeah. So, you know, for, for all of our viewers out there, I, and I want to I wanna stay PG-13 as possible, but that's a okay. sexy looking machine. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's, it's so compact and it has a screen on the side 
And for me, when I see a, a, you, uh, a screen, an LCD screen, just like that, and the unit on the side, it shows me usability and the ease of use, right? Kind of, to me, when I look at this furnace, it reminds me like of an Apple. A lot of people either choose an Apple or an Android. But when yeah. they look at an Apple, they see how user-friendly it could be, and so they decide to go with an Apple. But for those high-tech people that want to get an Android, then they go get an Android. But for me, I'm an Apple user, and when I see the, the Smart Fire uh, furnace, that is an Apple product for me, right? And so a lot of people can relate to that. But thank yeah. you for doing that. So one thing, if I may, can we talk about the Smart Fire yeah. software just a little bit? Yeah, please. So out of the box, all the Vita materials are, are pre-programmed in there. So if, if you're the smartphone person, right, you're gonna have basically a one-touch solution where you mill your material, you're gonna stain and glaze it, and you're just gonna hit the button and put it in to the firing parameter. If you're one of those people that likes to tinker and you want to change or maybe add a glaze cycle for X or Y company's glaze, it's an open software. So you can program up to a thousand other materials in there, which also may, you know, play to the other type of scenario where, you know, someone's an Android person. So really the software is what we call open, another advantage to the furnace over other you know, furnaces that are out there. It's very user friendly. I like that. So yeah, it's, all, yeah, so it's already pre-programmed to be user friendly for all of the Vita products, but at the same time, Anyone can go in there and tinker with it and, and add whatever material they want just by changing the parameters. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and one thing I also like about it too, let's say you have an office where there's two, three dentists there. You can make a user profile for each dentist. So if, if one dentist particularly likes a certain material or glaze system, they can have their own profile, right? You can lock the parameters so no one can mess with them and each clinician each staff member can have their own kind of settings they work with which nice. is another cool feature i like that and yeah. for, for all of our viewers out there he mentioned something super important which is the deviation of what one degree you said one degree yeah, yeah. It's important for for a lot of people that haven't gone into this world let me kind of uh, add some texture to that we work with a lot of furnaces right and when you program a furnace to hit uh, 1400 degrees and you program it 1400 degrees and it goes up and it starts to cook it doesn't always cook exactly at 1400 degrees because uh, some manufacturer if it's made from other company or other country they don't test it enough where they can measure it exactly so what that means is the crystallization may be a little bit different for each restoration and at the same time the color might even be different too because it might be cooking too long or not long enough or not hot enough. So being one degree is super impressive. And, and that's why I like about the Vita brand is that they make sure that all of their equipment is tested for a long period of time, like how Jim yep. mentioned before yep. it was released. So I like that. Me too. That was something I was really impressed with when I was interviewing with, with Vita is the amount of research mm -hmm. and frankly backing from the company behind everything that comes out of our headquarters in Germany. I was very impressed. Right. And, you know, we know that for our milling machine, uh, we can mill any Vita product. But for doctors out there that says, okay, well, you know, I don't have a milling machine from Young's Dental. I have my own milling machine. Yeah. Can I, can I use Vita product? Well, what would be your answer for that? Yes, absolutely. We support a variety of mandrills, mm -hmm. uh, which is that little silver piece that's on the bottom mm -hmm. of the restoration. So if you see behind me, uh, these will be the universal mandrel. The mm -hmm. Seric mandrel looks very similar, but it has a little notch cut out of the bottom. Uh, we also support Plan Mecca. Most of the mill companies out there have like jigs that'll adapt to fit these types of mandrels. Uh, and Larry and his team have pretty much full access to all of our materials. Perfect. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah so for everyone listening, um, he just, he said it. It works with a lot of milling machine. There's a universal mandrel. And it's true because we have a lot of milling machines in our office made from all over the world. And so we've tried the Vita product, Vita Dynamic, Vita Supranity, and all of the machines. And the universal actually works. You just got to get an adapter. And that adapter should be supplied by your manufacturer that you got your milling machine from. 
That's so correct. that covers all of everyone's concern, whether or not they can use the Vita product on their milling machine. The answer is, uh, I would say 90% yes, it can. <laughs> yeah, and the good news is that Vita has validated that milling machine already. So mm -hmm. if it's in the software, it's been validated by us. We know it works. So I think that um, all of your CAD CAM users or potential CAD CAM users can have faith in that product being vetted and we know it works. Yeah. And who's just, when you get into CAD CAM, who else to start with than with Vita, right? Like you, it's, it's like driving a car. I'm a teenager and then I'm first time driving a car. Imagine your dad gives you a Mercedes Benz. Like who, how would you not want to start at that <laughs> level right away, right? Rather than- we appreciate you know, that analogy. <laughs> it's, it's a true analogy. And I, I told a lot of our users here, we test a lot of material because yeah. we're a CAD CAM educator. And so a lot of companies that have material knock on our doors on a daily basis saying, Larry, please try our product. Please test it out. Please carry our product and, and uh, display it with your doctor. And I've tried all of them. But then in the end, I invited Devin because his product still ranks supreme. That's just the fact. Okay, so I can't, I'm, I'm just being honest and not being biased. This is just a fact. And I'm sorry for the other manufacturer that let us test it, but I'm being honest, the material has been really, really good. I mean, there's a lot of awesome manufacturers out there. Uh, I mean, we obviously really appreciate the exclusive opportunity to work with you. For any of you that haven't been to the Young's facility yet, that place is stunning. I cannot wait till we can get back to normal here. Me too. Uh, I haven't been to an event over there. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. So we're very uh, privileged to be working with you. And we're right down the street in your blend too. So it kind of makes sense for us to be partnering. Yeah, perfect. No, me too. I'm excited to get back in there, man. I'm uh, getting uh, cabin fever. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So, Devin, yeah. what material do you see being used the most chair side in the market? And which material is starting to gain traction and popularity? Yeah, I mean, that's a really good question. You know, CAD CAM has been available more or less for two decades. We started to see initial, you know, feldspar ceramic material like the Vita Block Mark II and the Trilux Forte. And then we had Enamic come out and then Emacs came out and Emacs was uh, in a category of its own being what we call glass ceramic. And it did such so many great things for our industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and now with Vita Suprinity, right, we have a lot of more flexibility in terms of color and strength and marginal integrity. But I've seen a pretty big shift from the laboratory side into zirconia and zirconia is a good is a good product yes yeah, it's, it's really strong i think that's important to a lot of clinicians in my opinion it's not the most important thing because if you do the prep and the inclusion right you could put a vita block which has comparatively less strength than zirconia on a second molar and we're not going to have any problems there but you know in terms of what people are using now. I see a, a large shift to these multi-layer zirconia chair side products that you can dry mill. But I, honestly, I, I see a second coming of the Vita Block Mark II for anterior solutions. It's such a beautiful material. Um, and the fact that we now have access to Vita Suprenity in the US market, um, I could tell you that eight out of 10 clinicians that I show Suprenity to, uh, not only do they like it, but they use a lot more of it than they thought they were using. And to me, that tells me that you know, the product is positioned in a way that allows clinicians to, to use it in the anterior and the posterior. A lot of people thought they were going to use it for second molar because it's 8% stronger than lithium desilicate, but the color is so vibrant and rich and the fact that it chips about 40% less on the margin where the material's milled mm -hmm. makes it ideal for a lot of subgingival and anterior solutions. So I see the lithium disilicate, lithium silicate market, you know, yeah. kind of battling with zirconia, but together I think those three products are going to be, you know, a big part of how we move forward. Right. And once again, is all about, getting the resource and information from people like yourself that can guide the doctors through what material for what indication. Now we cannot yeah. 
completely discount zirconia altogether, right? But no. I know a lot of people are starting to step away. And then they can come to people like us to kind of ask, all right, so I have this particular case, XYZ case, what material do you recommend for that? And luckily for us, we study material. Someone like Devin can definitely guide you to the right direction to give you the yeah. best quality and the best uh, results. So that's the beautiful part of having the resources in, in your side pocket. So uh, thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, I think, you know, when we think about CAD CAM materials, think of um, like a contractor, you know, coming to work on your house. And if, if someone shows up with a, a, a only one hammer and no other tools, you know, to me, I, I probably wouldn't hire that person, but I'm going to hire the contractor professional that has all the tools to do the right job. And I think that illustrates the importance of working with Young's and knowing all about the Vita materials and even other competitors' materials to see when we should use them for certain scenarios. You can't, if, if all you have is a hammer, then everything's a nail, right? Yeah. We have a whole portfolio for a reason, and we want to help you pick the right materials for the right scenario. Perfect. And can, can you show some of the pictures? I, I'm sure some of our audience are like really excited to see the blocks in picture. Can you uh, kind of screen share some of that uh, image yeah. so that I can see? And some studies maybe? So I have, I have some science out of our brochures ready to queued up. I also have some finished pictures which show aesthetics, where would you like to start? Ooh, I, uh, part of me is telling my, uh, that doctor wants to see the final aesthetic ones. So let's see the aesthetic first and then we'll backtrack it with the science. Fair enough, hang tight. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so let's start with anamic. You can see the anamic screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So anamic is a hybrid material. I like to think of it uh, in two analogies. The first analogy is like a coral reef. So 86% of the material is ceramic, which would be the coral reef. And then 14% is polymer, which we inject around the ceramic, the ceramic uh, material. So in a way, it's more ceramic than polymer by ratio. However, everything's linked together to be very strong. A lot of people really, they get hung up on how strong is this product? How strong is this product? It's important, but I think there's a lot of other factors to consider. Uh, the first one is at the top here, this static fracture load. I mean, this is a phenomenally high amount of absorption strength that this material can make. Uh, you notice that the flexural strength is 150 to 160 megapascal, which is what a lot of people look for uh, in a material. But the fact that this material can absorb so much strength makes it ideal for implants and inlays and onlays and things like that. Uh, so if you'd like all the science on how we measure the materials, I have this available. I can share with Larry. You can compare these uh, within, you know, compare it to maybe what you're using or what you're thinking about using mm -hmm. and see for yourself. But here's an example of the static fracture load, okay? You have IPS Emax. Okay, which is a very good material, very popular material. In megapascal strength, it's over twice as strong as anamic. But in the static fracture load test, beta anamic is comparatively stronger. So this shows that it'd be ideal in certain scenarios where Emax may or may not be. Let's see. What other studies will you want to check out here? There's a ton of science in here. I could spend yeah. an hour talking. You know what? We, we, we don't want to get people locked into the science. How about uh, show us some anamic restoration uh, images on a patient? Yeah, I'd be happy to. I'll share this with you, Larry, and we can forward it to your people, okay? Okay, please. Um, let me yeah, see. This is good information. Share another screen with you here. I'm going to take you to my Instagram page. That's where I have a lot of my photos. Uh, if you want to check these out, everybody, I'm at your Vita rep it's underscored. Nice. Um, I just posted a really cool picture from Jeff Sumner in Canada. Um, the patient wanted a minimally invasive veneer and we ended up using a NAMIC because it could be milled so thin. Where is it? My friend. Give me a sec here. Sorry, guys. Oh, take your time. Here it is. 
Let's see here. Yep. Okay. So this is patient came in with a chip tooth mm -hmm. on uh, central, right? Here's the prep. Okay. We wanted to preserve as much tooth structure as possible. I think the patient was young and there was a lot of concern for preserving a lot of that enamel. I think that highlights the importance of this material as a conservative prep tool. Uh, in the software here, look how thick this is, 0.28 right here. That's so thin, right? There's no other material on the planet that can get you uh, that thin and consideration. Yeah. So for this particular scenario, where uh, we want to preserve as much tooth structure as possible. I think we achieved an awesome result. That kind of shows the aesthetics. Picture's a little bit blurry, right? But it, it de definitely looks nice. Mm. Here's um, an example of some anamic. That's uh, awesome. Here. Yeah. Um, should we move on to maybe another material? Yeah, let's go. Uh, you, ha you have some great images. This show everyone what, uh, from each picture, what material you're using for those. Yeah, so this is, uh, let's talk about Supranity because a lot of people want a, a high strength material. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we can go over some science maybe after I show some videos. Um, this is a eight unit case from Daniel Vasquez and Oceanside. What's really cool about Supranity is you try it in clear. We can see how it fits on the prep and on the margin. These two are crowns and everything else is like a three quarter crown slash veneer. Uh, so we can wow. see him trying them in. We can get an idea of, you know, pretty much aesthetically how the shape's gonna look. I really like the fact that they're clear. That's awesome. Yeah. So there's that and this is the finished. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, one, one thing people really like in terms of aesthetics about Supranity is the warmth and the natural look with it. Uh, some other high translucent glass ceramics out there tend to be a little low in value, which means that they look a little bit gray. So the fact that Supranity is the strongest glass ceramic out there, it's 541 megapascal, but the fact that it has that nice vibrant color uh, makes it an ideal solution for an anterior case where strength is important. Uh, got so many Supranity photos on here. This is another picture from another case from Jeff Sumner in Canada. Six lower crowns, right? Nice, clear. He printed, obviously, the model in the back there, right? Here's them on the model again. Here's them in the mouth. Wow. Beautiful, lifelike. Man, we could have I couldn't even tell which one is not the Supranity. Man, I am so impressed with that when I do a lot of these chair side demos. Something I'm really nervous about, right? I mean, you don't want to bond them in and then have it not match. Um, I do a lot of like single centrals with not to change the subject, but with Trilux Forte. Can we talk about that a little bit? Of course. Yeah, let's do it. So Trilux Forte is one of the first Vita products. It's a feldspar ceramic that has four colors built into it. Uh, what I really like about that is in the software, you can see the color gradient in the software and you can position the restoration so it mills out nice. Uh, this case is from Dr. Jonathan Ford in Huntington Beach. Uh, we were replacing eight and nine, obviously. Uh, what I really like about Dr. Ford's work obviously the natural color gradation that's built into it, but he did a really good job at carving in these vertical lines, right? Those are the, these deeper natural grooves that we would probably see on a patient of this age. But then he also went in and he built in these kind of horizontal surfaces and added a lot of nice texture. So it kind of blends in with the surrounding tooth structure. A huge reason people like the Trilux Forte is that it has this natural color gradients built into it. So you just polish it and you can just bond it in. You can see how well it matches in terms of the rest of the mouth. Definitely an awesome solution. Um, not to jump back and forth here, but uh, this is an example of Supranity and how it mills so much better than any other glass ceramic material. 
This is a knife edge margin. You can't really achieve that with other glass ceramics because the crystal, the glass particle size is so large. The Suprinity crystal in comparison is about two to three times uh, smaller. And because the color, uh, the material is pre-crystallized, which is why it's kind of translucent, it's kind of soft. So when the burr cuts it, you can do a lot more with it in terms of edge stability than other materials. So a lot of people, Number one, they, they call me and they say, oh my gosh, like number one, this looks so good on the x-ray, but I can do margins with this that I can't do with maybe other glass ceramics. Beautiful example of, you know, Supranity being used to do a knife edge margin right here. Nice. So from Daniel Vasquez in Oceanside. So let me show you um, some science on Supranity, all right? Now that's huge, man. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Okay. So this is our Soprani brochure right here. I'm just going to scroll through. These are some of the indications your, your family, your young family can check out. A lot of people I know are using it for crowns and veneers. Uh, you can also use it for inlays and onlays and partial crowns. I personally would probably recommend Mamic for those indications, but it is possible. Strength, uh, can you see it? Yep. Yep. All right, I just wanna show you this picture of this electron microscope photo because I think it's really important. Let me type my man. Maybe it's not in here. Oh shoot, I think it's on another file. Okay. Anyways, we took a picture of Suprinity under an electron microscope and compared it to lithium desilicate. And you can really see the difference in the material. It, it chipped 40% less than the other lithium desilicate material. And if we think about you know, microscopically what's going on in the mouth, I mean, the better the margin fits and the less chips, the less likely the patient is to have problems with it later. I think, again, that really highlights the, the quality of the material. Yeah, nice. So we talked about anamic, talked about Suprini a little bit. Um, we can go and talk about temporary materials. We can talk about the Mark II, the Trilex Forte. What do you think? Yeah, so um, let's go with some of the popular items. I think the uh, Mark II is, you know, the one of the more known uh, brand or uh, material. So let's talk about the Mark II and then we can kind of uh, discuss a little bit more about the Supranity because I think uh, the Supranity is important because you, you, you kept talking about uh, fracture at the margin and for people getting into CAD CAM, that is the most frustrating part when you're milling out a glass ceramic and you're about to finish and then you see little chips at the end of the margin, yep. that's gonna kill you because you, you spend all that time designing, you spend all that time milling, and then that happens and you get really frustrated. What he's saying is that when you, after when you uh, mill it, because of the strength of it, you get less of that fracture happening. And so and that's why it was very good that you showed those x-rays to show people how sharp those margins were. And I can, I can tell you, I can tell anyone that's watching, you want to test it, test it. Get all the glass ceramic that you can think of and then start milling the thinnest margin possible and take a look. Yeah. I can promise Look at them under a microscope, right? Or the highest magnification loops that you own. Yeah. Um, and we're like talking that. about this marginal chipping. I don't want to say anything bad about other glass ceramic products out there because they've done, frankly, they've done so much for CAD CAM dentistry and just mm -hmm. dentistry and lab business in, in general. It, it really is a phenomenal sol solution for us as you know, digital dentists. However, right, shortfall of the material is that it's, it's pretty hard when it's milled and the result of that is more aware on the burrs and the motors and this chipping that we're talking about. So Suprinity is partially crystallized. What's, that's what the PC is under 
uh, the name of it right there, PC, partially crystallized. Mm. So if you were sculpting with a hammer and chisel, you were making the, the Michelangelo statue, right? You'd want a rock or a material that allows you to get nice and smooth edges. Otherwise you'd have all these rough surfaces that you'd have to polish up. Mm. To me, the fact that we can mill a margin with 40% less chipping is more important than strength. It just so happens that the material is 8.2% stronger than lithium disilicate. That's a big deal. The fact that we can get 40% better fit on the margin where frankly, most of the restorations fail. And uh, lithium disilicate is a very reliable material, but typically when they fracture, it's at these areas where they were chipped in the mill, it creates a weak spot. Mm -hmm. So what's really cool about Suprinti, obviously that chips less, but because of the state it's in, when it goes into the furnace, the surface of this material liquefies and all those little chips, they get filled in by the glass, by the liquid glass. So when it comes out, it's a, it's a lot tighter structure. The science behind the material is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and as Jim and I, myself and you mentioned earlier, you know, Vita really vets products before they come out onto the market. Um, mm -hmm. This material has been available globally for about four years, but we just got it in the US a year ago. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's coming onto the market and we're the ones that have to test it and cross our fingers that it's legit um yeah, it's been used in europe asia south america canada for a long time uh, people have been using it for several years the fact that we just got it now i think in this scenario kind of plays to our advantage because we know it's reliable and that's really important to me and everyone at vita and i know to your users as well yeah and and vita over in the European country, and Suprenity in the European country is like a go-to material, it seems, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely a uh, different distribution of market share in Europe. That's great, um, man. Yeah, cool. all of our products are made in Germany. Maybe that has something to do with it, you know. <laughs> Gotta be loyal to their uh, homemade items, right? <laughs> yeah, although I think uh, Ivoclar is in Liechtenstein, which is pretty close to where we're at on the German Swiss Oh, sport. there you go. The best buddies <laughs> <laughs> probably can, can you show us the mark two i, I want i'm curious about yes. the mark two. yeah sorry about got sidetracked there my brother no worries man Let's see some stuff. pictures um. okay read a mark two all right so 20 years ago, 30 years ago, when Sarek was first being developed, they needed a beautiful glass ceramic material. And I'm sorry if I'm kind of reiterating what Jim said earlier this week, but Serona came to Vita, right? We made this beautiful feldspar ceramic material. These are the kind of the components inside of it, but really it's just a feldspar rock that they grind up really fine. They fire it, they grind it, they fire it again, and then they grind it and they press it into these blocks. And what we're left with is hands down the most aesthetic CAD CAM material that we have. There isn't anything that looks as close to enamel as the Mark II, okay? The strength coming in at about 154 megapascal plus or minus 15. A lot of people nowadays you know, they want something that's really strong, but have people like Richard Masick in La Mesa, California, that's been putting these on second molars for 20 years. I mean, wow. Dr. Masick has every CAD CAM available material to him, yet he still picks the Mark II in areas where a lot of people only go for strength. He knows that if he does his job right, in terms of prep and managing occlusion, that everything's gonna be fine. So you have a phenomenally beautiful material that can be used for a ton of indications. Okay, this is the Mark II. This is the Trilux Forte. Trilux and Trilux Forte are the same feldspar ceramic material as the Mark II. The only difference is that it has color gradients built into it. Okay, that's the only difference. And a lot of people on the clinical side of the equation 
they really like the Trilux Forte because there's not a lot of characterization involved, right? You can select in the software where you want the color gradients. And then when it's milled out, you just polish it and bond it. Very simple. These are some of the colors that are available, right? Wow. Um, do a lot of your people use the 3D Master Shade Guide, Larry? Or are they using Classic? Uh, so right now, uh, good question. We're getting a lot of doctors into the mesh, Master uh, Shade Guides, the 3D Shade yeah. Guides, only because, you know, the, the traditional one is not going to give you the exact color that you need. And so the 3D Shade Guide is always the best thing that we recommend all of our viewers, all of our doctors to look into because you can match the tooth color much more uh, accurately than you would the traditional way. Yeah, we have to do, uh, I'd love to do another webinar, or hopefully in person Yeah. on shade because you're absolutely right. You know, I'll, A2, right, is the most popular shade. But if we look at the color A2, there's actually a lot of other colors that are very, very close together with it. And what 3D Master does is it kind of spreads it out scientifically. Uh, so a lot of our blocks are in 3D master shade. Don't worry about that. We have conversion charts to show you, okay, 2M2 is an A2, 1M2 is an A1, 1M1 is a B1. Uh, we, so we can help you figure out, you know, what block you need to use. Um, let me show you some photos here. I was looking at this earlier and I saw some awesome There we go. So in terms of aesthetics, I mean, if you look at the incisal translucency here, it just looks just like a normal tooth. I mean, wow. I'm blown away with some of the results. Unfortunately, you know, I try to post a lot of pictures to my Instagram, but not all of the patients and the dentists allow me to share their results. So I don't have a ton of pictures on this. Most of my photos are on Soprenity because it's very popular material right now, but man, I cannot tell you the times I've been chair side and people have been totally blown away with the aesthetics of the Mark II of the Trilex Forte. We'll have the staff come in and they don't even know which one's the, the restoration. And for me being a year in Avita, there's a lot of pressure on me when I go chair side to deliver a single central. I'm like, oh my gosh, this has to look good. And when it's in, I am so proud to be a part of a company that can do something like that. The patient's so happy. The dentist is happy. A lot of CAD CAM users, they still refer out these anterior restorations to laboratories. I mean, what's the point of having a CAD CAM system if you send out 20, 30% of your restorations to a lab? Mm -hmm. Comparatively, I mean, there's a lot of huge difference in profit margin right, by keeping it in-house and the fact that you can knock it out in one day in, in less than two hours, uh, ultimately it makes the whole procedure and the practice run a lot faster and more profitable. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And, and you're right, I think I had a couple of those episodes, right, where I come in, the doctor goes, hey, there's an anterior case, let's do it. And then we take a 3D shade guide. And even though we're super confident with a 3D shade guide and new exact color, get the exact product, after you build it, you're like, oh man, I'm chair side. I hope this doesn't look bad, but with the Vita, it comes in and you're like, oh, thank goodness. The color gradation is perfect and yeah. translucency as well. So, whew. We had a, a scenario uh, recently where a patient was coming in for a single central. Mm -hmm. They wanted the shade OM3, mm -hmm. which is not a shade that really any of the CAD CAM manufacturers offer. Mm -hmm. So Dennis called me, hey, I got this OM3 coming in on Friday. You know, what do I do? I said, okay, we're gonna do a Mark II, shade OM1, mm -hmm. and we make a product that Larry's familiar with. It's called the Vita Chroma Stain, all right? The Chroma Stains allow you to take an OM1 to an OM2 or an OM3 out of the bottle. So what we did is we had the dentist mill out a unit ahead of time, and we shipped him the M color to stain up to the OM3, and I had him split the restoration in quarters and I had him do 
four brush strokes, three brush strokes, two brush strokes, and one brush stroke. Wow. And we fired that. And then we made a shade guide, custom shade guide for the OM1 and the chroma stain that he can now use for any evaluation for that shade. Um, it looked great. He called me. He told me I was going to be his anterior guy. Going moving <laughs> forward. He has more confidence now. Right? He's doing more of these anterior cases in house, which is awesome. That's the whole reason we have CAD CAM, right? To keep that in house. So just kind of a cool story of how we use the Vita Block Mark II and the chroma stains to get a very nice natural matching color. Something that's very hard to do with the single central. Yeah. And, and that's what I really appreciate about the uh, your company, Vita, that most of your people that work with you guys, sales rep, um, educators, everybody is so darn knowledgeable on the material and how to make it work for the doctor that we never have a doctor say, oh, you know what, this, this person couldn't help me with whatever XYZ case. That's what I really like is that uh, the people that work with Vita are so professional and under, have a really great, great understanding of the material that, you know, now Devin, unfortunately, became the uh, go-to person for anterior cases. I'm sorry, Devin, but you earned that title yourself. <laughs> I, uh, I just try and do my best. You know, I see, I see my job. Let me take a step back. A while ago, I read this book by a Navy SEAL called Extreme Ownership. Have you ever heard of it? Extreme Ownership. Uh, who, who's the uh, author? His name's Jocko Willink. He oh, was no. Navy SEAL for two decades. He lives in San Diego, and I used to train jiu-jitsu at his gym. And he has a great podcast. But uh, his book, Extreme Ownership, is exactly like the name implies, right? You got to take ownership of things, and you can't, you can't blame people or other people if something doesn't go right. So in my mind, when someone from Young's Dental uh, – one of your family members calls you and they got a new CAD CAM system and they say, hey, I got this case coming up. I need to take as much ownership of that as I can. It's my responsibility that the order gets placed, it ships on time, the clinician understands how to use it, they know how to glaze it, and they know how to bond it. If, if the ball gets dropped anywhere in that process, I can't really blame anyone but myself because it's my job to make sure that the restoration goes successfully. Yeah, of course, uh, Young's team is awesome as far as service and knowledge goes, but it's my job as an employee of Vita and really a support system to the clinician to make sure that that CAD CAM process gets done properly and efficiently. And then, you know, fortunately, it's a pretty smooth cycle, pretty smooth workflow. So once you do it a few times, you know, you're better than I am. You know, a lot of these assistants, they could teach a standing glaze course far better than I could. So I just really try and do my best to see it through the whole process. Nice. And I like that you mentioned that. Uh, I also read books like that when I used to be in leadership positions and very great leadership quality that you have there, which is taking self accountability for everything that goes wrong. Because then in the end, as a leader, you know, you were responsible for taking care of this person. So yeah. I really, understand that and really glad that you brought that up there we got another 10 so minutes here can i show you some more uh, instagram pictures yeah man let's do it i love instagram. anything else that we can talk about yeah let's do it all right cool show some more case photos here this is a full mouth uh restoration case vita soprani by daniel mm -hmm. vasquez uh this patient was in vita cad temp for about six months uh, you can see that the bite, you know, had pretty much collapsed. You know, had a lot of posterior wow. things that we needed to change. And so uh, Dr. Vasquez put this person in cat temp and anamic for like six to nine months by his bite kind of re-equilibrized. And then he came back in and we, we did the full case in serenity. So awesome wow. aesthetic result. Let's see here. So you kind of move this screen a little bit. Yep. Vita Supranity. Another Vita Supranity case. Uh, I'm not sure if this was from trauma or not. Looks like it. But either way, pretty awesome result. Wow. Um, we just did a really cool case with David Flamenco. He is a 
third generation ceramist, second generation dentist in La Mesa, California. He's attached to a hospital. Uh, this is a really cool supernity case he did with a zirconia abutment. Mm. So we have an implant, zirconia abutment, and then supernity on top of that. This was a dentist actually as the patient and the dentist wanted beta supernity. Uh, probably was that like a A1 or a B1 nice. restoration on the opposing teeth there. Let's see. Recognize this guy? Yeah. That's, Dr. Don. That's the Don. That's my man. <laughs> you guys offer uh, this SQ Smart and the Roland, right? Correct. Yeah. What's the difference? Uh, so it depends on the doctor's uh, need. Uh, for the SQ Smart, it has the ability to mill out custom abutments. And that's why Dr. Dwan liked that machine because he does a lot of implants. So oh, he really? wanted his own custom abutment in house, and that's the machine he decides to go with. So cool to see, you know, where the technology is going. I mean, yeah, chair side, man. First, you know, I think about, you know, how much uh, margin, profit margin there is for a clinician mm -hmm. to offer a chair side option. And then when I look at the cost of the investment and I divide the cost over the margin, I mean, the return on investment for a lot of people. Is like six months. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand there's a learning curve with the technology, but if you have, you know, if you do 50 crowns a month or you got two dentists in the office, I honestly, if I was a dentist, um, obviously there's other factors like, you know, school debt and rent and stuff like that. But I mean, the return on investment is just phenomenal with something like that. Nice. No, it's very true. I mean, especially to someone like Dr. Dewan that does a lot of dentistry and uh, that, that machine they, they paid itself and he, he okay. does full restoration he does single units on a daily basis so that machine and the supernity product is working 24 hours pretty much so this is a really cool photo uh something that a lot of people don't think about is natural fluorescence if you've ever been at a nightclub or at like a halloween party and there's black lights i don't know <laughs> if you've seen anyone smile and their teeth, they look really blue and beautiful. But if they have a restoration, like a zirconia restoration, it's black. It doesn't behave the same way as a natural tooth. Uh, these are another reason why the Trilux Forte and the Mark II Block are excellent anterior solutions. So if you have, you know, young folks that like nightlife or whatever, they have an event coming up with a black light. I mean. It even Smile. <laughs> makes more of a sense to have a material that's going to match the teeth. And there's nothing else out there that does this. We do have a fluorescent glaze spray that you could apply to zirconia. So it would look like this in a black light, but out of the package, this is what it looks like. There's no glaze applied to this. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Ah, here we go. Mark two. Uh, this is from Lynn Thomas in Poway, California. She built in these striation marks using some white to match this opposing tooth. Ah. And a beautiful aesthetic result. Yeah. Uh, that's Dr. Thomas over here. They do a lot of education over there. Show you that one. Oh, you know, Fernando with Roland, they milled this out of a NAMIC. Wow. Roland machine. Wow. That machine's incredible. And yeah, it is. I Fernando love it, man. so yeah. knowledgeable. I'm so impressed with, you know, how much he and his team know about their materials. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good pictures on my Instagram and my Facebook page. Um, I can't wait till we get kind of back to normal. So we can do a bunch more uh, courses with you guys. I'm really excited for, you know, 2020 and 2021. Right. Yeah, and so for all of our viewers out there, uh, you know, check out his Instagram page. You can see a lot of uh, neat things. So I, I, I follow him all day and look at all these things all the time. So uh, thank you for sharing, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. I, yeah. I really appreciate it. Um, 
you can find me at your Vita rep. We're at Vita North America. We're posting a ton of free content Mm -hmm. on how to make your restorations better, whether it's, you know, changing the lift time in your furnace to using the accent plus chroma stains Mm -hmm. to, you know, using anamic versus Trilux Forte or Suprenity. Uh, There's a ton of free videos on our Facebook page and, and Young's is, such a phenomenal company in terms of support and education. Um, we're really thank excited to be working with them. So thank you for having me. No, thank you. And uh, for the for the rest of our viewers, Devin, please tell them about yourself. What do you like to do for fun? I know jujitsu is one of them. Uh, yeah. so come on, let's let's get personal because I think you know a lot of people want to know the personal side of our people that we interview. So I oh. love I love getting to know our people some more. So thanks for. I guess, give me a, a little bit to talk about myself. Um, I'm an Eagle Scout from Troop One in Huntington Beach. We're one of the oldest Boy Scout troops in the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up in Southern California, near Belinda, where we're headquartered in Huntington Beach. I got a marketing major from California State University, Long Beach. I've been in the dental industry for 12 years. Um, some of my hobbies, playing guitar, hockey, I like jujitsu a lot. It's so fun. It's like a chess, physical chess game. Um, obviously, no jujitsu in the last 30 days, but oh, no. it's pretty funny. I made a jujitsu practice dummy at home. I got a wetsuit. I put a foam roller in it and I tucked uh, towels in it. <laughs> it actually works really good. Maybe it sounds funny to some of your users, but um, it's been a nice way for me to practice this martial art. Um, and I have a 13 month old son. His name's Jackson. Aww. He's awesome. He just started working, uh, walking and saying all kinds of gibberish, um, <laughs> being away or being quarantined, I guess, for was it like 32 days now or something? It's been like kind of a blessing in disguise to really spend some time with him. Absolutely. Um, I'm also in graduate school pursuing an MBA at California state university, San Marcos. So plenty wow. on my plate right now. Um, again, you know, trying to learn as much as I can, get as much as I can into it every day. So that's a little bit about me. That's great. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And so yeah. for uh, everyone in uh, viewing this, uh, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for uh, paying attention and looking at some of the products that Vita has to offer. Uh, Devin, thank you so much, my brother, for coming on. Thank you. And uh, spending your time with us today. Uh, hopefully everyone out there stay safe and Devin yes. stay safe as well. Okay. Thank you. Have an awesome Friday and awesome weekend, everybody. And I cannot wait to see you face to face. Hopefully sooner than later. Likewise. I can't wait to see everyone face to face and give everyone a, a big, no, not hug, but a social distant hug. <laughs> whatever that is. Yeah. Whatever the new hug is. Right. All right, everyone. So thank you so much for joining. We're going to have some uh, more uh, interviews coming up next week. So once again, Uh, This is going to be routine for a lot of you. So thank you for joining. Once again, Devin, thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you around. Okay, buddy? Take care. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.